I want to get to another big story that we're following today. The Texas bill just signed into law that essentially bans any city or county in the state from becoming a sanctuary city. It's like a showdown between municipal, state, and federal law. The law is also going to allow police to ask about the immigration status of anyone they detain, even for just a traffic violation. And if any city official or law enforcement member refuses to comply with this law, they could face prosecution. You know, it, I know that many of you, probably like me, do not appreciate seeing this constant conflict right now between state, local, and federal law, especially when it comes to protecting all of us, all of us individuals who are here legally in this country. So what's going to happen next? Will other states actually follow Texas's lead? Are we going to see major challenges to Texas ahead? I'm joined right now by American Majority CEO Ned Ryan, along with political analyst Leslie Marshall. Good to have both of you here. Ned, uh, sure. where do you see this one heading? Uh, major legal troubles, or is Texas going to be able to enforce the law, saying, well, look, you know, if you're going to try and uh, provide some kind of escape to someone who is here illegally, then you're going to be the one in trouble. Well, I mean, the thing that's important to remember about this Texas law is, uh, people have been saying, well, the Arizona law went up to the Supreme Court, was struck down almost in its entirety. The one thing that was not struck down by the Supreme Court in the Arizona law was that it permitted police to mm -hmm. ask people that were detained, what is their immigration status? So I think that, you know, as you look at this and what they did in Texas, allowing officers to ask, what is your immigration status, regardless of whether it's been for criminal activity or a traffic violation, it's already been upheld by the Supreme Court. So if people think that there's going to be some massive legal challenge to it, it's already been addressed by the Supreme Court. It's already been dealt with. And that's why I think Texas kept it you know, fairly narrow and, and focused just on that. I think the thing that's interesting, Trish, on this, first of all, I can't even believe we're having a debate about, oh, we should uphold the law. We should actually think about we're a nation of laws. It's rule of law. Let's just uphold the law. What a novel idea. <laughs> but the thing that's interesting to me is that, you know, the people are saying the controversial part about it is that there could actually be consequences for people who refuse to uphold the law. They might go to jail for a year and lose their post. Yeah. Again, all they're trying to do is say, let's follow the law, let's enforce the law, and if we come into contact hey, with people that might have criminal wrong activity, with that. Nothing hold them wrong with that. until they're deported. Right, um, exactly. But, but, but Leslie, I just see, see the left gearing up for a big fight. Let's keep in mind, by the way, you know, one of the weirdest things about all of this, I was looking through some, some uh, stacks of papers the other day, and this was from ICE and, and their reports and all the various people that they had arrested, yet they couldn't do, they couldn't follow through because local sheriffs, county sheriffs, local police chiefs uh, invoked the sanctuary city status. And I thought, you know, how, how crazy is this? These people have committed crimes. They cannot be deported. They cannot, uh, they cannot really even be sent to jail the way they should be because of this ridiculous, uh, very political rule. And I think it is political because let's not forget, in many communities, police chiefs, Leslie, they're elected. Right. And so you got some Texas communities and, 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 and look, the both parties have been guilty of this, trying to play to certain populations. But I think a lot of people have played to these communities and said, hey, we'll keep you safe. But what about everybody else? What about the people that are in the country legally? Don't they need to be safe, too? Well, we do need to be safe uh, from people who are here legally, because those are the majority of criminals in our country. Those that are born here, those that are not coming here uh, illegally. One of the problems that we have here, whether it's in Texas, hey, Arizona, or Leslie, here in California, Leslie, where I live, I, I is, you need, is you need I, the I just, cooperation. Can I just ask you a question? I mean, if somebody commits a mm -hmm. crime, shouldn't they mm -hmm. be kicked out of the country? I mean, can, can we agree on that? Oh, we do agree on that, but here's the problem. Local law enforcement, whether in Texas, Arizona, or in California, they simply don't have the people or the money to be immigration cops as well as criminal cops, first of all. Second this of all, they need the cooperation of a lot of these undocumented workers in heavily populated areas, especially like Texas, to mm -hmm. help them to get those criminals that well, I, are I don't know. If you just actually said, said we're, we're not going to allow you to be here illegally, you're going to have to actually show us your license or your passport, et cetera. We're going to have to have proof that you are in this country legally. If you said but, that, then maybe actually it acts kind of like a deterrent, Leslie. We're, 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 
Go well, ahead, here's Leslie. part of the problem. Part of the problem becomes if I am driving down, and this is why the Supreme Court struck down, as Ned said, most of the Arizona bill, except for asking status. And here's the problem. Who do you ask status of? If I have brown skin and a yucky pickup truck and a lawnmower in the back, are we assuming I'm an undocumented worker doing landscaping and asking me my immigration status? How do I prove it? I don't. I carry around a license. I don't carry around my passport or my birth certificate. So I, I think this becomes a slippery slope, as we've seen in the past mm. in Arizona. And I think the fact that the governor pushed this through the way he did on Facebook, if you oh. will, uh, trying to avoid more protests, no, I, I think no, is no, just no. further proof. Final comment to Wait a minute. This, this has been debated in the legislature. They signed it. They, they passed it through four days ago. There's no surprises here. He just chose to sign it on Facebook last night for whatever reason. But my, going back to, we're not asking the police force to become another immigration force. We're just asking them to ask very simple questions. Do you have proof? Are you here legally? Very simple question. It's, this, right. is, this is not rocket science. I, I, I hear you. Um, good to see both you guys. Thank you very Thanks, much, Chris. Ned and Leslie.